This is Jupiter Today for the 23rd of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant two, heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant four, heading east. Ganymede spends most of the day in quadrant two, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant two, heading west. At 2.24 UTC, Europa goes through a perijove. That's the closest it's going to be to Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 664,950.8 kilometers. At 2.59 UTC, Eel goes through a perijove. And that distance is 420,017.3 kilometers. At 6 hours UTC, Eo is still in quadrant 2, heading west, going to be transiting Jupiter soon. At 12 hours UTC, Eo has successfully transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant 3, heading west. Europa is moving behind Jupiter and is going to be going into quadrant 1, heading east. At 16.12 UTC, Ganymede goes through its perijove, and that's at a distance of 1,068,002.8 kilometers. At 18 hours UTC, Eo has just gone past its western elongation, and is now in quadrant 4 heading east. Ganymede is going to be starting its transit of Jupiter soon from our point of view. This blue line here is the line of sight to Earth. This gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, Ganymede has successfully transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant three heading west. Eo is Now firmly in quadrant 4, heading east. Europa in quadrant 1, heading east. And Callisto is still out there in quadrant 2, heading west. There are nine Jupiter satellite events today. At 6.16 UTC, the transit of Eo begins. At 6.40 UTC, the shadow of Eo ingresses. 8.33 8.33 UTC, the transit of EO ends, and at 8.57, the shadow of EO egresses. At 10.26 UTC, Europa moves behind Jupiter, and at 14.07 UTC, Europa reappears from behind Jupiter's shadow. At 19.29 UTC, the transit of Ganymede begins. And at 2108 UTC, the shadow of Ganymede ingresses. And at 2304 UTC, the transit of Ganymede ends. There are four satellite mutual events today. Two pairs in this particular case. The first goes from 9.20 to 9.23 UTC, and that's when EO occults Europa. It's a 2.9 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.64 and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.145 magnitudes. But this event is only 15.68 arc seconds from the edge of Jupiter, so that'll be difficult to, to view. The other event in this pair is going from 9.55 UTC to 9.59 UTC when EO eclipses Europa. That's a 3.5 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.689 and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.182 magnitudes. 
but again it's very very close to Jupiter 6.55 arc seconds from Jupiter and Io and Europa are 20.92 arc seconds apart so the visibility for this pair of events as you can see on the Google Earth map is Western North America all of the Pacific including Hawaii The next event goes from 1558 to 1603 UTC when Ganymede occults Europa. It's a 5.4 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.391 and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.374 magnitudes. And it's a good distance away, 42.44 arc seconds. And the second event in that pair is about an hour later, from 1709 to 1716 UTC, when Ganymede eclipses Europa. And that's a 7.1 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.459 and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.462 magnitudes. And it's 60.22 arc seconds from Jupiter and Ganymede and Europa are 33.82 arc seconds apart. And the visibility for those events, as you can see, is all of Asia, quite a bit of Australia, Western Pacific, Eastern Europe, maybe East Africa. Okay, orbital ribbons for today. These are just the temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. These are the same orbits that you saw earlier. And I've just connected these orbits in time to form some interesting shapes, which to me look like twisted ribbons. So here's the connection between Io and Europa, and Io and Ganymede. And Io and Callisto, that's a nice twist there. And then Europa and Ganymede. And Europa and Callisto. And finally Ganymede and Callisto. And I combine them all and colorize them to show that today. Alright, 24 hours of Jupiter's sky standing on the equator of Jupiter watching Io pass in front of Ganymede there it's a lot of activity with the moons of Jupiter take quite a while to not only get used to seeing all this activity but not wanting to watch it would be very difficult There goes Ganymede transiting Jupiter from our point of view. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today. First at 131, second at 1126, and the third at 2122 UTC. There were some new images posted on the internet.
And there was some new radio data. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 12 minutes, 21.7 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 10 minutes, 36.9 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 161.479 degrees, and that's 1.126 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 3.378 degrees, and that's 0.2 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is 656,727,264 kilometers, and that's 753,713 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 31,404.71 kilometers per hour, and that's 1.862, 1,862.54 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,436,442 kilometers, and that's 45,725 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,905.21 kilometers per hour, and that's 2.79 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1 152.37 degrees, CM2 43.46 degrees, CM3 316.31 degrees time of this recording is 0 hours 30 minutes on the 23rd of February 2015. So please subscribe and thank you to those who are subscribing and watching. Make sure to tell everybody that you know about this podcast. I hope it's informative and interesting and gives different perspectives on a very dynamic Jupiter system. As I say in my description video, uh, Jupiter today is a part of a larger Jupiter observing project that I am beginning to run. And so any input on that project would be greatly appreciated. So your comments and questions and suggestions and images can be sent to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.